fleet you after now? What are you looking at? We're looking for the garlands to dissipate the water in an orderly manner down some siphon tubing so it doesn't interfere with brick course work. If we allowed it to go down brick course work, it would gradually wash away the, uh, the mortar in the bricks. So what we have to do is to collect it at various positions along the shaft and pipe it to, to next what we call ring dam. That prevents it going down the brickwork and washing away the mortar in the brickwork. Now and again we have to clear out these ring dams and rod out the pipework that connects them all together that safely takes the water from the top shaft to the bottom of the shaft where then we can move that with a monopole to a, to a safe place. This is where a little fill would in position. We'll let you know this is where the ring, one of the ring dams collects the water in the ring dam and channels it down a, it's like a drain pipe in effect. It channels it down to the next ring dam and safely to the pit bottom where we can collect it and pump it away to a better place. What we're doing here is making sure the debris that comes down with the water sometimes doesn't build up and prevent it from freely running away. So theoretically we've got to rod it out and make the, uh, the ring down and the down pipes clear from blockages. All the way down we securely fasten them to the shaft side with the uh, wall hangers. Obviously we've got to make sure the security of the wall hangers are fully secure and replace them when needed. And from time to time, over the years, that pipe will get blocked up, so we have a plan to, to change those pipes over as and when we think they need. As we're going down also, there's, uh, we have four guide ropes guiding the cage centrally in the shaft so it doesn't hit the sides. These guide ropes need to be inspected daily and lubricated from time to time. We measure them periodically, see if the wear characteristic is getting of a concern that we need to do something about it. So what we, what we do with these rotted sticks make sure the flow path is not restricted by a build-up of debris that naturally comes down the shaft side. It's mainly uh, a byproduct of what's in the water, iron ochre, commonly known to us as ochre. This is very invasive to restrictions in pipework and joints that has to be freed off on a regular basis to allow the ring dam to flow to the next one below. We're now entering what we call spears, that just guides us to a precise position in the shaft pit bottom to safely land where there's no obstructions and the clearances get more critical. So spears guide us in a critical path to a landing position at pit bottom. These spears have also got to be checked for alignment and proper lubrication. Right, we've landed at pit bottom, we've done the uh, checks on water levels in some, we've done the checks on the gate interlocks, both back and front, uh, that's been a positive test, we're now going back up to rod out. Clip on Alan and I'll uh, open this gate. Right there. We're having, we're having to clip on at this moment in time because we're opening the back gate to enable us to exit the shaft cage at an inset where we need to do some uh, rodding out of another area. Hello Phil. We're inside cage, we clicked on, I want to signal you up to the inset, please. Okay. 
Thank you. That pipe you can see there is one of the pipes what connects the garland to garland. So as the water collects in one of the rims, it goes down that pipe to the next one and then consequently we can keep the, the shaft wall as dry as possible. Hello, Phil, we're in position now. I'm going to put the emergency stop in. You just confirm when I've done that, that power's off, please. Okay, we're going into inset now to run out. 